All right, on uh, Sheets number nine, we're going to use Google Sheets in a little different way. We're not really going to make calculations, and we aren't really going to make charts, but we're going to use it to uh, sort data. I have a handout that is posted on Google Classroom and uh, has all the instructions on it. I'm going to go straight over to showing you how this is all going to work. There is a spreadsheet that is connected to today's assignment on Google Classroom that looks like this. It's about the Super Bowl, and in case, I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence, but in case you don't know, there's always a big championship professional football game every year called the Super Bowl. They take the two best teams after a playoff series, and they play each other for the championship. And it's been happening since um, about you know, back in the 1960s. So there have been 55 of them, and that's what we have here. We have Super Bowl number uh, all the way back at the very beginning. Super Bowl number one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. And um, we've got some, some data about every Super Bowl that I kind of want to just cover quickly. So here's what we've got. For every Super Bowl, we have the Super Bowl number. Now, when on TV and everything, they use Roman numerals. I didn't put Roman numerals on our our spreadsheet here. I just use regular numbers. So, uh, for example, Super Bowl number one, way back a long time ago, was played on January 15th, 1967. Uh, it was played in Los Angeles, California, the host city and the host state. Um, the American League team, the American Conference team, was the Kansas City Chiefs. The National Conference team was the Green Bay Packers. Back then, they were called the American League and the National League. Um, the the coach for the Chiefs was Hank Stram. The coach for the Packers was Vince Lombardi. He's who the trophy is named after, those of you who watch football. The Packers won. Yay, the winning team was the Packers. Uh, the most valuable player, MVP, was Bart Starr. Final score was 35-10. to 10, Packers winning over the Kansas City Chiefs. The margin of that, they won by 25 points, right? 35-10, to 10, so the Packers won by 25 points. Uh, who had it on TV? Well, back then, this doesn't happen anymore, but back then there were two networks that had it. NBC and CBS had it on TV. Who did the halftime show? Well, for that game, it was the Arizona and Michigan marching bands, combined marching bands from University of Arizona and University of Michigan. Uh, who sang or performed the national anthem? Well, in that game, it was the bands of the Air University of Arizona and the University of Michigan. The Nielsen rating is a, it's a television ranking. The higher your Nielsen rating, the better. The more people watched it. So uh, the, the Super Bowl I had a Nielsen rating of 40. Attendance, how many people were there for Super Bowl I? It was 61,946. And how much did a 30-second TV commercial cost for that game? If, a, if an advertiser wanted to pay to have their product advertised during the Super Bowl, how much did it cost them? Back there in, in 1967, it cost them $42,000 for 30 seconds of commercial time. And we've got the same data for all 55 Super Bowls. And if you're thinking more current, right? Uh, like here is Super Bowl 54. I think I said 55 earlier, but 54. Um, that was the one just played back in February, right? It was Kansas City against San Francisco. Uh, Andy was in Miami, it was played in Miami. Andy Reid's coach of Kansas City. Um, Kyle Han Shanahan, the coach of San Francisco. Uh, Chiefs won. Patrick Mahomes, most valuable player, 31-20 final score. You got all the same stuff, right? Fox had it. Shakira and Jennifer Lopez did the halftime show. Demi Lovato sang the national anthem. Uh, Nielsen rating of 42. 62,417 in attendance and $5,600,000 for a 30-second commercial. And all of the Super Bowls are in here, and they all have all that data right where was it played and what was the date and uh, how well did it do on TV and who won and okay so here's what we're gonna do if if you have this is a pile of data right this is a lot of stuff a lot of stuff here and if you are trying to like answer a question if somebody comes along and says something like well um, which what was the highest uh, TV rating ever 
you know, which, which Super Bowl had the highest TV rating ever. And so you go look at that column about Nielsen rating because that's where the TV rating is. And this is not in... It, it's not in that order, right? What the, it, it, right now, it's in Super Bowl order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This would be a little bit of a pain if you were going to try to find, well, okay, which Super Bowl had the highest Nielsen rating? It would, wouldn't it be so much easier if the data was sorted out by Nielsen rating, right? If you could put it in that order, you could find the answer very quickly. That's what today's assignment is all about, just taking all of this data, and sorting it out. Now, you're going to have some questions to answer, and they're going to be on a Google form. And the Google form is going to look like this, and it's linked up in uh, Google Classroom. And so you're going to have to have a couple of tabs open, right? You're going to have to have a couple of tabs open. And you'll have to have the Google form on one tab and the spreadsheet on another tab. And when you're trying to answer a question, for example, I'm not going to answer this one right now, but, but question number one says, how many times has the Super Bowl been held in the city of Pasadena, California? And it's multiple choice, three, four, five, or six. Well, so you would go to the spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you how to sort it out so it becomes very easy to answer that question. Let's do the one, let's do the one that I just said a minute ago. Which, which, which Super Bowl had the highest Nielsen rating? Okay, so watch how you do this. Way over on the top left-hand side, uh, right where, where your columns are marked with A and your rows are marked with 1, there's an empty box just above the 1 and just to the left of the A. Click that. What that does is select the entire spreadsheet. All right, And we want that. That's an important step, so don't forget that part. That's going to make it a whole lot easier for you. Just click that little box. Next. Go to the data menu. There's a data menu up, up at the top. Okay, cool. Next, go to sort range. Click there. Okay, next. This is all on the handout, by the way. Check this box that says data has header row. Check that. Good. As soon as you check that, this sort by thing is going to kind of change a little bit. And, and what you can do is say, okay, I want to sort by what? What do I want to sort by? And that's going to depend on the question. You have to think through the question. This, this question I'm doing right now, which, which one had the highest Nielsen rating? Which one had the best TV rating? Well, so I'm going to go find Nielsen on there. There it is. Nielsen. Now, A to Z, Z to A. It's alphabetical, right? But what if you're talking about numbers? Well, A to Z is the same thing as smallest to largest. Z to A is the same thing as largest to smallest. My question right now is which one had the, the best, the highest, the largest Nielsen rating? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do Z to A. Now, you could find the answer either way, but I'm going to do this. So I'll just tell it to sort. Boom. And I don't know if you saw it, but it shuffled around there. All right. And I'm looking over here at the Nielsen column and I see a 50. That is the highest Nielsen rating ever. So I'm just going to arrow back. I'm just tapping my arrows and going back over here to the side and it looks like that was Super Bowl 49 which was in 2015 and it was the Patriots and the Seahawks in case you're curious about that kind of thing. So the best Nielsen rating ever was a 50 and it was in 2015. I'm seeing that on my data. So we answered that question. Which Super Bowl had the highest Nielsen rating? Super Bowl 49. What was its Nielsen rating? 50. All right, let's do, let's do another one. How many times has the Super Bowl been played in the state of Louisiana? Okay, well, so you go back through the same steps. Click in that box on the top left corner. All right, next to the letter A, right above the number one, click in that empty box. Go to the data menu, click. Go to sort range, click. Say data has header row, click. And then look at all your possibilities here. I want to know, I said the state of Louisiana, all right? So that would be the host state. So I'm going to go pick host state, and then I'll tell it, okay. Now again, A to Z, Z to A, 
wouldn't really matter, would it? I can find the answer either way. That's alphabetical. We're talking about letters here. So I'm going to click sort. And now if I go look at host state, all right, I'm looking in the host state column and I'm seeing Louisiana and I said, well, how many times has it been played in Louisiana? Well, my goodness, look, several. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm finding ten times that the Super Bowl has been played in Louisiana and I bet they were all in New Orleans at the Superdome. Um, but now we know the answer to that question, right? How many times has that game been played in Louisiana? Ten times. And, and what made it easier to find that answer? Sorting, right? Let's do another one. Uh, let's do this one. One of, the, one of the columns that you have here is for the winning team. Okay. Now, you know, some teams have won the Super Bowl more than once. Here's a question. I see Dallas Cowboys right there. How many times have the Dallas Cowboys won the Super Bowl? That's my question. How many times have the Dallas Cowboys won my Super Bowl or won the Super Bowl? You you could look through there. You could just hunt for it. But who wants to hunt for it? Let's make it easier. Click the box in the top left hand corner next to A above one. Click on data. Click on sort range. Data has header row. <coughs> Excuse me, what are we looking for? The winning team, right? We're going to sort it by winning team because I want to know how many times the Cowboys have won. Winning team, sort, and it's been sorted out. It happens very quickly. You really don't see very much happen. But now if I look at the list, it's easy to figure out the answer to my question. My question was how many times have the Dallas Cowboys won? Well, I see one, two, three, four, five five times Cowboys have won and if you're a football fan you can kind of look through there and and look at other teams and see how many times they have won um, but uh, you know that's up to you uh, all right so that's that's the idea and remember your questions are, they're going to be on this Google form and when you get done with the Google form when you've answered when you've picked an answer for all the questions there will be a submit button at the bottom and it's, gonna, it's probably going to tell you like this is a quiz. or It's not a quiz. It's just an assignment. It's a 10-question assignment. And you just got to get in there and answer the questions. And you can kind of even, everybody has to submit their own results. But if you're kind of working together with somebody, you know, that's next to you, if, if you have that opportunity, um, you get a little help, you know, uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, and you don't have to turn in the spreadsheet. Right? The spreadsheet is just what we're using to answer the questions. What you have to submit is the Google form, the questions. All right, there you go. Let's do it.